but no one ever knew what our real relationship was. Now he's gone, and his family, they pretend like I never existed. I mean, did they really think that the guy in all those pictures with Bernard was the dog walker? Sure, he's wearing a collar and a couple of them, but you know, that's none of their business. Well, excuse me for asking, Harvey, but what kind of a doormat are you to live with a guy all those years that keeps the fact that he loves you a secret? I mean, believe me, I know people that live like that. And by the fourth year, well, I'm sick of it. I wasn't a doormat. He, he told me he loved me constantly. Oh. He was doting and romantic. And we even had a private ceremony in Honolulu, and he, he gave me this ring. Uh, you know what, Harvey? Don't be such a crybaby. <laughs> talk to you. Darling, I'm so glad you're here. Here, help me eat this. I'm defrosting. <laughs> Ma, I met this man at Danny's funeral. Fabulous! He's Jewish? Yeah, and a doctor. Oh! And he's gay. So you're seeing him again? <laughs> Ma, how desperate do you think I am? Friday, we're gonna see Shobo. <laughs> Anyway, the thing is, his lover died, and his family will not acknowledge the fact that they had a relationship. Oh, widower! <laughs> the point is, if something happened to Mr. Sheffield, I could have the same problem. Mm, it's still cold. You want? Ma, I... I cold my heart out. All right, since you made... <laughs> Oh, you know, the thing is, if God forbid something toy toy happened to Daddy, <laughs> at least the world would know you were his wife and he loved you. I only wish for you the joy that me and your father have. <laughs> Look at this. You can't fill a tray, you puss! <laughs> This is what I want. <laughs> We have to talk, mister. Ah, uh, surely you mean, uh, may we and sir. Oh, so you're already pretending that there's nothing between us? <laughs> and you're not even dead yet. Uh, uh, <laughs> Miss Feeney, perhaps you're still grieving over the sad loss of uh, your... What, what, my youth? <laughs> know that if you were, God forbid, in a coma, technically, I'm not considered family. I wouldn't be allowed to pull the plug. I should at least have that much satisfaction. Grandmother, I'm going to need a few minutes alone with my nanny. Mr. Spock! <laughs> You told me that you loved me. Well, I want a man that will shout it from the rooftops. I told you I loved you. But then I took it back! Uh. You shouted the wrong part. <laughs> That's it. I quit. I am not going to wake up someday and have to fight your family for that picture of you in a dog collar. <laughs> Miss Fine! <laughs> you already did that, Spot. Thank <laughs> you.